learning on learning on learning and learning right? learning. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Facts. Learning. Facts. Ah, yes. every day. Uh, <laughs> growth. Uh, yes, Challenge yes, that yes. brain. Work it. Skinny. Hashtag knowledge. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Entering into the old town. Oh. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. So it's my turn today, and we are in the Old Town neighborhood of Chicago. So one of the more poignant structures in Old Town is St. Michael's Catholic Church, Ooh. and that is where we are today. Awesome. So little fun facts about St. Michael's Church here. So St. Michael's Church is one of Chicago's oldest parishes in church buildings. It was founded by German Catholics in 1852 um, from their arrival in the 1830s and 1840s until World War I. German Ooh. immigrants of all faiths made up Chicago's most numerous nationalities. German immigrants quickly migrated out of downtown Chicago, the two miles or so north to North Avenue, which is right over there, a thoroughfare which became known as German Broadway. So St. Michael Church stands on land donated expressly for the purpose of building it by successful German-American brewer Michael Diversi. Ah. From Chicago, you'll recognize that last name, yeah. Diversi. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Diversi immigrated from Germany in 1830, and by 1844, he was a Chicago alderman. The church is named after the wealthy beer maker's patron saint, mm -hmm. Saint Michael the Archangel, okay. whose limestone figure stands in the high niche on the facade. Way up there, uh, Saint Michael. I see. Huh? Where? <laughs> that, that statue. Is it right in front of us? Yeah, right there. Oh. Right in front of us. Okay. He's a nut. <laughs> Plain as day, St. Michael. I was thinking, sure, you know. So, the church building is built of red brick with limestone trim in the Romanesque style. Construction started in 1866 and was finished three years later. In 1871, the new building was virtually destroyed in the Great Chicago Fire, uh. along with its North Town. So mm. Chicago is known as the second city because in 1871, majority of the city actually burned down because of the Great Chicago Fire. Hence the term second city, because it was rebuilt. Mm. Facts. So, <laughs> boom. Facts on facts on facts. <laughs> so only the church's exterior walls remained oh, after wow. the fire, yeah. Wow. So using brick. these existing walls, Probably. the fire gutted St. Michael Church was rebuilt and rededicated in 1873. And what I thought was kind of a nice touch was um, ashes from that infamous fire can still be seen in the church's basement. Huh. What? Yeah. History for you. Right. That's and tricky, I could go though, on and on about this. Church, I mean, that's just the exterior, right? The interior from pictures and everything that you see online, there's a lot of history. But it's also said that there's what is it six or seven bells in the bell tower and oh, if you cool. can hear them when they ring then essentially you live in old town so yeah so that is saint michael's church very significant for the neighborhood of old town mm. and just the history of chicago in general right it's mm. very pretty i like the, all progress. of the work that was put into the, the details but yeah mm -hmm. the details the I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. I was going to say, <laughs> I always find cold. it, uh, like, yeah, you can tell how much tension they put in the churches yes. at the time and, like, those in pieces. And, like, it's nice that they preserved it because, like, you just yeah. look at the exterior, there is a lot to Right, even with see. it, like, burning down, essentially, and then they rebuilt it, um, they did a very good job. Cool beans. Yay!
Woo! On to the next. On to the next one. We do, oh, that is pretty. The dude all day. Ow. That was delayed as hell. Yeah, I know. I had to finish the song first. Uh -uh. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what you doing back there, tiger? Huh? What you doing? Stomping. <laughs> Stomping. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Recording you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need some wool face mask. Oh, that season. sounds nice. Right? I just want a whole wool bodysuit at this moment. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. So our next location huh? is Twin Anchors Restaurant. So Ooh. this is Restaurant. I think it's a Michelin. Michelin? Michelin 2020. Oh, oh fancy. Fancy. But excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so it's most famous for being in different movies and shows and hosting a lot of famous people <laughs> in and out of Chicago. Fancy. Um, but I'll get to that in just a second. So located in historic old town, the building dates back to 1881. Oh. Twin Anchors Restaurant and Tavern is one of the oldest restaurants in the city of Chicago. <laughs> since its founding in 1932. Twin Anchors has always been known for great tender barbecue baby back ribs Thank that can you. be enjoyed in a quaint neighborhood town. It does look quite quaint. How, like, how long things stay intact mm -hmm. mm. here. Because yeah. I don't think I've encountered that too much elsewhere. Basically like where we came from, like a lot of things were turned over or oh, abandoned yeah. and you know what I mean? Like gentrified. Yeah, like things didn't stay yeah. as long as these things did. Yeah. And I think it's really cool like that Appreciate they it. put the care and effort into maintaining this stuff. For yep. sure. Research shows that as far back as 1910, there was a tavern operating in this spot. Sometime during World War One, the Schlitz Brewing <laughs> Company <laughs> donated You're the bar <laughs> that remains in use to this day. <laughs> Notoriously, during Prohibition, a speakeasy yeah. known as Tots oh. Lee Soft oh. Drinks provided refreshments for the thirsty <laughs> in this location. It is also known that the in the park. early 1950s, Frank Sinatra made his first visit to Twin Anchors, and over the decades, Frank continued to make Twin Anchors one of his favorite stops sure. in the tales abound. Awesome. Yeah, and then like I said, I mean, there's been tons of movies done here. Second City productions have been done here. I wonder um, what it's like working there when like, right? oh, stop, we gotta, we're at this, at this point, we're gonna be using this for, right. for a, <laughs> exactly. a recording or whatnot. Or even like, like the owners, you know, like did they really, like, obviously they probably didn't think it would get to be this big and, and significant in its history, but like, yeah. you know, like that should be, I, it makes sense now like why a lot of people around here are prideful about their city because like mm -hmm. they they put in the effort and and people help make it so impactful in history and stuff so i think it's yeah really and the cool. fact that it's like this place is across multiple generations and yeah. like in 2011 famed chef emerald lagasse featured twin anchors on his show the originals with emerald airing on the cooking channel right but then you've also got actors singers theater movies tv shows like yeah. just the whole gamut yeah and it's still alive and well today yeah uh, we will definitely have to try it um mm. And actually go inside and feel the experience, right? When we actually can. I'm excited to try some ribs. I don't want some to go. Right? So that's stop number two. Yay! Boom. Away we go. Twin anchors. <laughs> Twin anchors. Boom. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> we to do that day. Gonna bust my ass. Gonna bust my ass. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Co oh. <laughs> and Co is the celebration of talented gourmet chocolate artisans. Cool. Love um, you a good artisan. Yes. Um, <laughs> it's a dream that's taken more than ten years to become reality. While working with winemakers, um, owner Kim Hack learned the importance of place, varietal, and craftsmanship and recognize the correlation with gourmet chocolate. Mm. She began a long, or she began chocolate. to long for a gra gathering place where chocolate lovers could fuel their passion <laughs> through exploration, tasting and interaction in the same way wine lovers do at neighborhood merchants and cafes. Chocolate. So Coco & Co. <laughs> is exactly the spot Kim always dreamed of hanging out in. 
no, I thought it would be a sweet, full pun, place for us to go <laughs> and get I some goodies. I going to be funny. It's a very funny type of day. Chocolate. <laughs> Demon. <laughs> so let's go. Chocolate! Ooh, cheers! cheers. Mm. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that is so magical! <laughs> She's an ecstasy. <laughs> right? No, this is the hot chocolate I've been needing in my life. He just handed it to her, he's like, ecstasy? Yes, <laughs> I'm just giving you ecstasy. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. like, oh, it was called ecstasy. Chocolate ecstasy. Mocha. Mm. Mocha? Yeah. This is delightful, y'all. I am in Paris with my Parisian. Mm -mm. Uh. I'm with the Mayans with my spicy hot chocolate. E. Is, it, is it a nice kick? Um, it's like a nice, like, subtle burn. Like, I don't feel it on the tongue. I feel it on the way down. I'm just oh, on cloud nine. That sounds nice. Up here, yeah. mm -mm. Hey, you wanna... What is it? Murping, not willow, moaning, like, complaining something. Like, it's moaning a name. Myrtle? No, like, it's a name when you're, like, whiny. Like it's like a name, it's a female name and it's something like moaning myrtle, but it's a different oh. adjective. But it's like something when you like complain, you're like, meh, meh. Yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. I just, cause I, <laughs> I wish I remembered because I didn't realize that this comedian, like the female uh, in the second picture, that she was the one that coined that, that like that was within oh. our lifetime, that like that saying <laughs> became a thing. I want to say it was when she was on SNL, like on yeah. Saturday Night Live. So she, it was one of the characters she played, and I was just like, what? Oh my gosh, look at Steve Carell and uh, Stephen Colbert. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, I'm trying to like... All right. I'm tired of holding that shit. Uh-uh. We are here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the second city. Woo my face that's cool absolutely <laughs> just a floating i'm just jay park again oh, of course. Course. yes okay, oh. okay. <laughs> this this is great guys this is great <laughs> doing great all right so second city is considered one two mm. of three one of the most Ten. popular comedy clubs in the world mm. it was started by students at the university of chicago mm. in 1959 i didn't, I didn't know that that's really cool student power bro. comedy many famous comedians got their first start at second city including tita fey oh stephen colbert mm. Mm. and john belushi yeah mm. just to name a few mm. There are often several shows to choose from on a regular basis. We do improv classes here. Um, they're just amazing. <laughs> and they've given a lot of people their starts. Yeah. Um, yeah. Quite a few. And Chicago's known for its big art scene, right? And all shapes and forms and sizes of it. So if you ever come to Chicago, definitely come to Second City and see a show. Yeah. It's great. They're hilarious. You'll love it, I promise. Absolutely. 
I mean, I think that's really cool, though, that like it was the the collective power of students who were like, we need an avenue. It. Let's make this happen. And now there are multiple second cities around the city. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I I never heard that history. I thought it was started by students. Like I just knew it as the established, popping out popular like, if you talent. Want to be anything go there. Thing. Yeah. That's power. Yeah. Good. There's also different second city locations. So there's Chicago, Toronto. I've been to um, the Toronto one. Hollywood. Or one of them, I guess. There might be more than one. Nice. They got so big that they just expanded. They couldn't contain it. Global. And the branch out. We're spreading our humor all around, if you want it or not. Exactly. <laughs> take it. Take it. Take, take it. it all. Take it all. Oh. Yeah. We've got one more location, y'all, right, so wait. let's wrap this party up. Boop. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, y'all, so the last location for Old Town is Zany's Comedy Club. So Zany's has been providing comedy to the 21 plus crowd for 31 years. Nice. The club often features up and coming comedians as well as well known comics like Aziz and Sari. Oh. It is the third longest running comedy club in the United States and is just down the way from Second City where we just left. I happen to skip. <laughs> <laughs> Have skip jump, y'all. Lots of awesome, fun things happening. So they also expanded have locations Chicago, Rosemont, and Nashville. True. So another avenue for the art scene for Chicago. It's even, there's another uh, comedy theater. Club. This is the comedy strip. The Red Orchid Theater, just adjacent from here. So, I mean, there's no shortage of things to do and experience in Chicago. So well, I was gonna say, when the city allows, support local theater. Yes. It's yes. very much needed. I yes. can only imagine the struggles that they're going through right now because nobody yeah. can really like be uh, performing or yes. uh, coming into these theaters as at least nearly as much as they uh, as they wanted to. And I can only imagine even with uh, how much live theater has changed because of how many digital options and streaming options people have. Yep. But uh, so definitely support when we can mm -hmm. and when it is, uh, healthy to do so I feel yes. like the moral of this episode was also well first of all we were punny and it was fitting because it's a it's a comedy tour basically <laughs> i don't know if we could be a part of that <laughs> part of these but also just making. like these places wouldn't have gotten to where they are haven't been able to expand it to the extents that they have if local people hadn't supported them and mm. invested in them by going and just you know seeing the fanfare so definitely if you guys get a chance um, come through this area and just explore, walk around, have fun with it. Mm -hmm. And as it is so poignantly put <laughs> on Zany's window here, laugh more. Yeah. And especially in this day and age. Yeah. So thank you. Look at us being all insightful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. So what did you say? Now where's the car? <laughs> I don't fucking know. No.